And Dan Forrest has not been shy about his views on wearing masks and social distancing during the pandemic. Saturday evening at Childress Vineyards in Lexington, Dan Forrest makes his third campaign stop of the day. A candidate posing for pictures and shaking hands with supporters. We shake as many hands as we can and we meet as many people as possible. It's just the way we've always run a campaign and we take it to the people. That's just kind of the good old fashioned way of politicking. So it'll be a lot more of this. Old style politicking in a pandemic led some WXII 12 News viewers to complain that Forrest isn't following state guidelines. We reached out to the Forrest campaign for comment. Spokesman Andrew Dunn wrote back, quote, you had a reporter at the event, ask him. Photojournalist Chris Peterson says he saw little or no social distancing during the Forrest campaign stop in Lexington and only a handful of people wearing masks. On masks, we do the same thing. We, when we have events, we have masks at the, at the door. Anybody that wants one can put one on. A lot of people will show up with masks and a lot of people don't show up with masks. For me, if I'm talking to the crowd, I don't wear a mask. There's a uh, can't talk with a mask on, nobody can hear what you're saying. The head of North Carolina's Republican Party says their candidates need to get out and connect with voters. People are starting to do some door knocking programs now. Uh, pretty successful, you know, people want to get out and have some conversations. Of course, they're wearing masks. Dan Forrest questions masks and whether experts such as Dr. Fauci are right when they say that masks help fight the spread of the coronavirus. For decades now, People have said that, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of scientists in, in science that says masks aren't, uh, aren't effective during these viruses. Some new studies say people should wear masks. I think there's just a lot of confusion out there with people. That's why you see some people wearing them and some people not. At this campaign stop, most people chose not to wear masks, including Dan Forrest. Dan Forrest says when it comes to wearing a mask, people should decide for themselves whether to wear one or not. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.